Did you know that taking too many photographs will make your experience less and it will harm your memory? So should you stop making images? Hi, it's Peter here and let's get right into the business. I came across this article to remember the moment try taking fewer photos on NPR. I will link it to the description of this video. The article says that photography outsources the memories. Studies say that when we photograph we do not remember things as well compared if we did not photograph them. I can totally see where this thing comes from and it's actually a scientific study which I will talk about a bit later. There are a lot of people that just go out, if they travel for example, they just you know use their phones firing away and not experiencing the whole thing. The only thing that they kind of are uh, concentrated on is a good photograph and if when they are not photographers or they are too much in a wrong phase of as becoming better photographers they just don't experience anything and I will talk about that how that affects our memory a bit later and there is a word for that and I need to check that so that I say it correctly it's attentional disengagement the process of photography itself takes too much attention so that we don't see actually what we are photographing. Well one thing here is about getting to know your gear. Of course if you don't have to concentrate on the gear you, you don't think about ISO, you don't think about the shutter speed, you don't think about the aperture, you just think about what you are photographing. That will help a lot. So getting to know your gear will help also with this. When you know what to do you don't fiddle around with the camera and think what aperture or what shutter speeds and usually if you need to do that then then you need to learn more about the actual gear that you're using and also the theory of photography what does it mean you should know that already that what happens if you have a long shutter speeds and what if you have a short and, and you know what aperture does but if you need to think about that that if is if is this f8 or f5.6 then you lost it already you don't think about the image itself, you think too much about the technical aspects of photography and I think you're lost then, you need to rethink that and I hope this video will help on that too, kind of understand the what the process of photography means. It's not about the technical settings on your camera, it's totally something different. But then the study also say that in some cases it can even make your memory better if you take the images. But then we come to the way we photograph. If we just fire away the memories of that those things are less than those if we start thinking about what we photograph. When we take in the vibes, the feel and everything and we just walk around and look around and observe the things and take photographs every now and then. I know yeah we will lose a few photographs but we will have a better memory of that and better mental health too. That's what the study says. So if we are walking around and looking around and taking fewer photographs, those memories are a lot stronger because we have felt the whole place that we are. And this is especially when you're traveling, for example, you, you kind of feel, but it can be, you know, on your photo walk on places that are familiar to you. You just feel difference if, if you just, because photography is not, you, you know, you don't want to rush into a photograph. You want to think about things and think about the vibes and see what else is there and how, how it works and is there something different in a familiar place and, and you know it's um, it's something just sit around and look around even though it's a familiar place you might see something different and your photographs will be better and you will you know feel better too and I think that both of those things are really good I think the feeling better is more important than getting a good image and what the article says that I've talked about here is that the study shows that while the act of taking a photo may be distracting, the act of preparing to take a photo by focusing on visual details around us has some upsides. Yeah, that's exactly what I was explaining before I read the quote. So experience the area, all the visual aspects, all the, all the possibilities and then take a lot less images than you would if you just fired away and really didn't look around. So how do you feel about this? Is, does this make any sense? And of course it's a scientific study so we kind of has to take that for, for a fact in a way. Of course science is an interesting thing because if there are new facts the old, old facts don't apply anymore. So, so what do you feel? Have you ever experienced this that you, you have taken too many photographs and then you kind of don't have the same feeling of a trip? It's, 
you know, and, and, and I know, because I have, sometimes I've been, you know, taking too, too much gear on my travels way back and then taking too many images, changing lenses and, you know, switching lenses and I need a longer lens instead of just letting it be and enjoy the moment. And like I said, I will talk about the study itself and what it says in the abstract of the study. Let me quote. This finding highlights key differences between people's memory and the camera's memory and suggests that the additional attentional and cognitive process engaged by this focused activity can eliminate the photo taking impairment effect. And what does it mean? Well, I kind of explained it already that the, the process of making the image sinking in all the vibes and stuff that you see will make your memory kind of remember better the things that you actually experienced if you are not concentrating on the photography because if you do that the good images will follow and I think that's the biggest take that we can take from this study and I hope this is something that you can take to your photography from from this video so next time you go out somewhere photographing maybe it's a travel or just photo walk or whatever you photograph Put the camera away for a little while, let it be in the camera bag and just walk around and, and you know, sink in the stuff. And then when you start feeling that you've experienced and seeing, you will see images that reflect those feelings. I did that exactly when I was in Copenhagen a couple of weeks, uh, about a month ago already. And I've been there before and I kind of knew where I want to go. And I knew from the weather forecast that it might be a good weather for that particular place to photograph during blue hour. So I went there a couple of hours before and, and kind of experienced the vibes. I, you know, sat down, had a beer and looked people walking and people eating, people, you know, having a good time on that area. Yeah, I did miss a few shots, but who cares? Because I have the shots in my mind. I don't need to have them on my computer. I don't need to have them on my memory card. I have them in my memory. So I did not outsource my memory to a memory card. But of course, if I was there for for a gig somebody's paying, then it's a different thing. We're talking about hobbyists and amateurs who photograph for themselves for fun. And then I started to photograph later at night. You know, I met a few people that I talked there about photography and, you know, having a good time, enjoying the whole th whole process and then took a few shots. And I think I got better shots because I did what I did and did not rush there in a hurry to make those images. I walked around and looked at looked the place really and, and felt the whole vibes there and I think that made my images a lot better and the video is over there it was about travel lenses but you know there are something about the photographs too so you might want to watch that next because it's kind of a proof of concept what I've been talking on this video but I hope this was something that benefits your photography let me know in the comments down below what do you think but hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.